Hey everyone, Mithras here. Today we are going to power level my account. Um, so as you can see, here's where we're at. We're at level 18, 21,744 XP at this level. So we're almost there. Um, and I've been playing for a couple of weeks now, probably I think about two. And the goal today is we are going to use um, the lucky egg. So I got three lucky eggs. I'm going to use one today. Uh, the goal is to max uh, that full 30 minutes with evolutions. Now evolutions are the best way to quickly level your account um, from a time perspective as well. It takes a lot longer to go and catch a Pokemon. It takes longer to sit around and spin the Poke Stops. So the evolutions are the best. It takes anywhere between uh, usually roughly 20-30 seconds per evolution. Uh, if they're a new one, so a new addition to your Pokédex, it might take about a minute. Um, so the goal here today, again, like I said, is to try and utilize the full 30 minutes for evolutions. Now that might seem like a lot, but I am sitting on over 70 evolutions. So I'm super excited to try this out with everyone and see if we can actually do it for the full time. Uh, the other thing that I do want to go over is it has been confirmed uh, with the Eevees that um, it is kind of a hack or a cheat to get Eevee to evolve in either Flareon, Vaporeon, or Jolteon. Um, currently, I do have a uh, Flareon. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to get the other ones. Um, to do that, you need to rename Eevee. So for uh, Vaporeon, it's Rainer. Okay. And so as you can see, I have four... Uh, Evolves for Eevee ready to go. Um, so Rainer. Next, uh, I need a uh, Jolteon. So to get Jolteon, it's going to be Sparky. Alright. And last but not least... Uh, to get Flareon. To get Flareon, uh, it's going to be Pyro. So those are the three confirmed uh, names to kind of cheat Eevee's evolution into the appropriate um, evolve form that you might need. So again, I need two of those. I need Vaporeon and Jolteon. Uh, so hopefully this will uh, be successful and help us out. Um, the other one I will not uh, evolve or just evolve into any specific name uh, just because it's kind of fun to see what you're going to get randomly. Um, so anyway, those are the uh, three uh, naming conventions to cheat evolve for Eevee. Um, and again, as you can see now, after renaming them, they're not right in the order um, that I wanted. So uh, we'll keep this in mind as we go through and do our evolutions. Um, I'll probably try and confirm the Eevee thing here first. Um, and hopefully, again, like I said, uh, we'll be able to whip through these in the next half an hour here and be able to hold it for the full time. Um, the other thing that you could do that's kind of a nice boost uh, for XP is if you're really close on like a 10 kilometer egg or something and you had a bunch sitting there um, with like 0.1 kilometers left you could sit on that and then pop your XP and then pop your lucky egg and then go ahead and do your evolutions kind of thing but again uh, that's that's the way it works um, and the other thing is as you can see here I am not by any really pokey stops um, there's one there, there's a few down there, but uh, the reason for this is to literally not take time away from me being distracted in my evolving of my Pokemon. So we are also doing this to show that we can utilize the full 30 minutes of evolutions 
uh, because we do have over 70 uh, different Pokemon to level. So I'm super excited about this and I'm thinking we should kick her off and get her going. All right, so we are going to kick off our lucky egg here and start our evolutions. Now, one of the things that I'm going to do right away, uh, like I mentioned, is I'm going to do the evolves for the EV cheat, uh, EV hack, or whatever you want to call it, uh, to get uh, Vaporeon and um, Jolteon first. So uh, let's get this moving in 30 minutes, and we'll take a look as our XP grows here. All right, 30 minutes. And I'm probably wasting time looking for these guys, but let's evolve Rainer. So I believe Eevee was over 450 CP, so she probably should get over 1K here. Next one is Sparky. So the key here is you just got to keep going, keep going, keep going. Um, we're not going to actually move off this page here. Uh, so we started at approximately 7.43 a.m. Nice, it worked. Well, what the hell, might as well do the other one. Oop. Boom. And we can call that confirm, just like Nintan. They confirmed it, so that's awesome. All right, so now to the mass evolutions here. All right, Bell Sprout, here we go. We have one of these guys. Unfortunately, I did catch a Weeping Bell yesterday, so I'm not gonna get the additional bonus, but that's fine. All right, Caterpie, let's get going. We got about five of these. Let's get these Metapods moving. So obviously a big piece of this is just staying on top of, you know, you're clicking, um, and then, you know, in this instance too, I've been video recording, uh, for whatever reason, this free version only does, um, like three minute segments, which kind of stinks. Otherwise it breaks. I'm just going to enjoy my morning coffee here. Well, we uh, make some Metapods, kind of like a coffee pod, you know, get a Keurig. Right, let's see here, we have... So again, as you can see, you can kind of watch uh, the video in the bottom left and see how long it takes uh, to actually get through these evolutions um, stuff like that so we have one left I believe 
So 215. So it takes approximately 25 seconds per there. And we're out there. Just gonna keep on this screen. Drowsy, yeah buddy. Finally, I'm gonna get a hypno. Boom, look at that. All right, I don't think I have room for another. No, I could go back, but no worries on that. Do I have one for Gasly? I do. Kind of got a checklist here that I'm trying to keep an eye on that I made from a couple days ago. Look at that. Unfortunately or fortunately, I already have Hunter. Uh, of course, you have one. No. Uh, I don't want to do Kakuna. I don't have that. Any pods. Here we go. Netaran. Evolve. Lots and lots of Pokemon. So as you can see, we're slowly kind of killing time, just trying to dig through everything. So it's not necessarily going to be 100% efficient, but we'll be able to move through it fairly quickly. All right, another new one. And the other one. So one of the things I'm hoping here too is, as you can see, um, we're not seeing that XP build because um, we're not going back to that home screen looking at levels or anything like that. Uh, so my plan will be, uh, once we navigate off onto that, hopefully it will be like you know a 50k XP boost or something like that. Um, I haven't really watched any other videos or anything to see what what would actually happen, but let's get this Oddish done here quick, and then we'll uh, keep moving. It's so funny watching all these. It brings me back to the old Pokemon days of collecting all the cards, playing the original. Such a great game. Look at that, Gloom. All right, Paras. This will be a new one for me, I believe, as well. I think it's Parasite or something like that. Parasect, I think. Boom. Yep, Parasect. All right. Great. Pidgeys. Now, here is where the real money is. So as you can see, I had 472 Pidgey candies. So the goal and the key is to mass farm Pidgeys and Caterpies because they cost 12 uh, candies. And then you just keep going. Just keep on going. And this is really what's going to get us into our, you know, very, very rapid evolution, uh, you know, producing XP right here. This is what it's all about. So, as you can see, it's almost 7.53. Uh, so, we've been going for at least 10 minutes. I'll uh, probably have to go back and actually count on how many we actually do um, just because I was trying to as we're going but it's kind of tough to 
uh, keep writing notes and stuff while I'm trying to record. Uh, primarily, I must suck at multitasking. So trying to keep this simple and easy and get the most out of our XP booster here. Because we got a lot of freaking Pidgeys uh, to evolve. And we're just going to keep staying on top of this. Now, the other thing is make sure you have a full battery. Um, I started, I think, around 100%. I'm at 92 already. Uh, however, I am recording, so it's going to also drain battery a lot faster. However, I have the HTC One, and for some reason, I swear to God, this thing like overheats playing this game. And it is quite annoying. I'm gonna have so many Pidgeotos after this. It's gonna be a attack of the birds. I'm remaking the movie, man, for sure. I'm gonna be hitting gems with a million birds. Kind of funny to hit all the ones by me and just leave a bunch of Pidgeotos. However, they're they're still fairly weak, I think. All right, past ten minutes. Would be a nice feature to uh, have like a skip video unless I'm a total noob and it probably already exists honestly at the rate we're going like I said I had over 70 lot of pigeons to go through and we're almost halfway there I think you could almost do two with this many um, but we'll have to see and I don't plan on doing a hour long you know XP boost video the whole point is to show you exactly how to do this and level extremely quickly uh, so you can catch higher CP Pokemon out there, find new Pokemon, and wreck all the other trainers at the gyms. We've gone through maybe 10 Pidgeys. Got a few to go. Quite a few. I might be just evolving Pidgeys the rest of this time, actually. Alright, 30 seconds for that first one. So I've done one. So, I mean, you're roughly probably 25 seconds of Pidgey. <clears throat> and they might be different per, you know, how quickly they go, but... Uh-oh, gotta get back into Sumner's War. 
which is a great game, by the way, if anyone plays um, or doesn't play. Uh, highly recommend it. Keep the Pidgey train moving. So like you can see, obviously, there would be no time for Poke Stops. No time to, you know, you could be walking around, I guess. Um, but no time to catch Pokemon either. And the other interesting thing is I do have Vibrate on my phone, so if something were to pop up, um, you would know. And this whole time, uh, we haven't had anything pop. So you must not be able to actually trigger Pokemon um, while you're in this kind of screen. Let's try and get one more in here quick. Seventy. So that is another twenty, about twenty-two Pidgeys left, ish. It's a lot of Pidgeys, guys. Like I said, I don't know if we'll get through all of them here. We are almost at twenty minutes. So the other thing is to get all this stuff doesn't it's not too bad doesn't take too long I mean um, you just got to go in good populated areas catch pidgeys caterpies just make sure you get enough pokeballs uh, to do it just save them man I mean the biggest thing is just making sure that you don't transfer them and you have enough uh, pidgeys to you know evolve for fodder for your level XP. Um, and obviously they're really common, so if you just focus on Caterpies, or sorry, um, Weedles and, uh, Pidgeys, uh, you'll move pretty quickly. Caterpie might be 12 too, I can't remember, I think he is. We're moving along guys, this is what I call the Pidgey Farm Producing Train. And we haven't even got to the Weedles yet, or the Ratatatas, which I know I have at least 20 of. You might actually be able to use, you know, 70-ish plus for a full hour. Uh, 
All right, 20 minutes. Got about 10 left. Hopefully we can get through the Pidgeys, which I think we should be able to know, but we'll find out. Be in about six every three minutes here. It's gonna be close. The other nice thing is, uh, obviously, from the clicking perspective, uh, keeps you on that menu uh, to constantly just evolve your Pokemon. Um, like I said, what's going to be interesting when we finish here uh, in 10 minutes-ish, uh, we will be going over to the main menu again, and I'm curious to see how the game's going to react. If it's going to be like, hey, here's you know 25,000 XP. Because um, I have noticed a lot of times when you're, you know, doing stuff rather quickly, uh, it just stacks all the XP. So, like, if you go in between screens really fast on Pokestops, uh, it will stack them. Uh, you catch a Pokemon and then go to a Pokestop. Stacks. Just stuff like that. So I'm curious to see if this game is just going to kind of, like I said, give us a really awesome uh, big number here. And on top of that, uh, I don't know, I'd have to go look on what the leveling is between, but hopefully we finish up around, you know, 21, 22 uh, for levels. Uh, I would really, you know, like that so that I can, you know, start focusing on some higher CP Pokemon and um, going after some of the gyms by me. It's the never-ending Pidgey. So, obviously anyone's going to be able to do this. I just wanted to try and set a benchmark and help show, you know, how many Pokemon you need for your 30 minutes. Uh, again, I'm kind of navigating video, so you could probably add a little bit of time back uh, on there. I'll try and put a summary together. For the video of how many Pokemon I was able to evolve uh, within that time frame. Again, any new Pokedex ones take just a little bit longer. Hopefully my video doesn't get too bad here. Hopefully my video, like I said, doesn't get too bad here. It's My phone's starting to get really warm, um, but just the way it goes. And sometimes the video might get a little choppy or gameplay or whatever you want to call it, but um, we're almost there, and we're almost done with Pidgey. We got ten left. I think we'll make it. So the cool thing too, like we talked about, is we were able to confirm the EV trick, which is sweet. So if any of you guys have your favorite EV. Uh, you know, evolve form, you can easily get it. The uh, first time I got Flareon, I did not use the trick and was super excited. And obviously, don't waste uh, your Pidgey candies on evolving your Pidgeotto to Pidgeot. It is not XP uh, beneficial for you to do that. I uh, just want to point that out quickly. 
All right, five-ish minutes left for rounding the bend. Rounding the bend to the end. And we're just about done with Pidgey. Now, once we get through these four, I do have, I think, a Psyduck and a Slowpoke um, that I'm going to evolve uh, for the Pokedex uh, because I have not done that yet. Um, so I'm going to break, I think, a little bit of my order to do that. So we can get them in here. Uh, but with that said, definitely more than enough Pokemon to evolve for the 30 minutes. I do have at least 10 plus Rattatas and 10 plus Weedles. So we're looking pretty good. Especially when we want to do this again to hopefully get whatever XP we get coming out. Um, obviously, we could probably calculate it. It's probably going to be somewhere over 50k uh, experience. At least that's what I'm hoping. Oh, clap for it. Last Pidgey. Last Pidgey. Three and three minutes to go. Oh, so exciting. All right, finally, the birds, they're gone. All right, so like I said, we just finished up Pidgey. I'm gonna break here just a little bit to do Psyduck. Um, we did have some Poliwogs there that I skipped over, and then hopefully I can go grab Slowpoke quick um, and get him as well. Boom! Finally a new guy again. So as you can see, the Pokedex ones take just a little bit longer. All right, and where was Slowpoke? There you are. All right, we got two minutes left. I'm going to go back to the top here quick and do Poliwog and then start hitting their rat Rattatas. Boom. Minute left. Time is of the essence. Maybe hopefully we can get two more. Looks like we just hit time. I'll get this guy done. Do one more, maybe for good measure, just to be safe. All right, this will be our last one here. And we'll check um, to see how the boost went.
All right, so in summary, we still have quite a few left, um, but we're going to do the moment of truth. I believe it's been 30 minutes, so let's see what happens when we go back to the main page. Wow, 20. Look at that. Ultra balls, bunch of stuff. Let's see if the uh, XP will pop up here. Look at that. 71... 1500 XP that was awesome in 30 minutes 30 minutes we did that that was sick now think if I did that for an hour that would be a, about 150,000 XP in an hour we killed it that was awesome so we went from 18 to 20 almost done with 20 and you're at 50,000 XP at, at 20. 71K experience in half an hour. That was sick. Well, just to summarize again for everyone, we went over the EV cheat, hack, whatever you want to call it, trick, um, where you can name EV either Rainer, get Vaporeon, uh, Pyro, get Flareon, or Sparky and get Jolteon. Um, the other thing we did is we sat there for 30 minutes and just evolved, evolved, evolved. We evolved all the Pidgey birds, a lot of Pidgeys. I think it was like 40, something crazy. And um, have quite a few left. I'm not going to make another video doing this, but you could definitely do it. And um, I just want to say we confirmed the trick. We got over 71K experience, which is nuts. Uh, I want to just say thanks everyone for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Please give feedback. I always appreciate that. Uh, good luck training and being out there playing Pokemon Go. Be safe and take care. Mithras out.